Many of you have seen my bedroom makeovers and I do have another one to share with you. This is my guest bedroom that many of you have seen. Our house guests have enjoyed plenty of nights here, but it's been six years since I've made any changes to the space and I felt like it needed a change. A modern updated version of what I already had, I wanted to give our guests a home away from home without compromising function. I have some affordable designer ideas and some upcycle accents to share with you. First, I started with the wall color. I get tons of questions about the old wall color and it's called Granite Gray by Glidden. The new wall color is a soft gray. It's deep in tone, but not too dark. It's a safe color and I love that it's gender friendly and it's easy to switch out your accent pieces. Drapery. This is something that you may or may not know that it's actually a shower curtain. At the time, I had such a hard time picking out the perfect pattern, and then I found it. The issue was it was too short, so a trick that I've been using for years is to add extra coordinating fabric to the bottom of the shower curtain. This is totally a no-sew project, and all you need is heat and bond hem. It's really easy, and it's a great way to lengthen your drapery. I've done a video on how to make no-sew pillows, and I'll have that link down below. Grommet panel curtains is the avenue I took this time around, except I'm using blackout curtains. It's very practical and it will provide you with better sleep. It stops a lot of the sunlight from entering the room and it also helps to protect your furniture and your rugs from discoloring. Speaking of rugs, I get asked a lot of questions about the area rugs in our home. And another common question is, can you place an area rug on top of wall-to-wall -wall carpeting? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. This beautiful rug is made by Well Woven Rug Company and they sent it to me when they heard about my bedroom makeover. It's called Liza Gray and it's their feather collection. This rug is so soft. It's polyester microfiber construction. When the light hits it, it has this shimmering look to it. I absolutely love this rug. The pile is thick and the rug is very heavy and it can be purchased on their website and other retail stores like my favorite Wayfair. And they also offer free shipping and free returns. I will have a coupon code down below for you guys in my description box for 30% off with Be My Guest with Denise. Next, the focal point, your bed. If this bed looks familiar to you, it's because you have seen the exact same bed in our master bedroom, and I will have a link down below in case you have not seen the tour of our master bedroom. The name of this bed is called Mandarin. It's black, it's from a store called American Signature Furniture, and I got a heck of a deal on this bed. In the back of the store, they have a huge clearance section with everything from sofas and beautiful dressers. Some have minor damages and some don't, like this mirrored chest of drawers. A few cracks are on it, but it can easily be fixed if you take it to a mirror shop. Regular price on this dresser retailed at $1,000 and they were selling it for $300. Headboards galore, you had your pick. They had tons of them, they were marked down. Even on my bed, you had your choice of color and size. But on this particular bed, people were having issues getting them into the bedroom. So they had to bring them back and then they had to mark them down and they had quite a few of them to choose from. The regular price for this bed is $700, which is a fantastic deal on a king size bed, but I got it for an even better deal at $400. It's not a secret that I love to use Chris White bed linens on all of our beds in our home. It's easy to maintain and it's easy to launder. I love using white bed linens. It has a fresh clean look that I just love. And on top of the sheets, I have a mat lisse. Now some may call it a coverlet or a bedspread. It's a lightweight blanket that is subtle and it has beautiful detailing on it. I like for my guests to have the option of having layers on the bed in case they get too warm. And if they get too cold, I have a lightweight feathered goose down blanket inside this pucker tuck duvet cover at the foot of the bed. Having a variation of sizes and textures and pillows adds interest, but it's also a personal preference of what kind of pillows you want and how many. I chose different textures and shades of gray for my accent pillows, and all of these pillows are from Home Goods. And the white blingy pillow was on clearance for $10, regular price $40. I also love using tailored Euro shams. It adds that perfect backdrop against the black bed. But before I place any new bed linens on my bed, I always wash them first and then I press them to give that bed that fresh, crisp look.
This mirrored chest came out of my other guest bedroom. I thought it looked better here against the gray walls and next to the black bed. I love the Moroccan detail on it and it came from TJ Maxx a few years ago. Upcycle and repurpose. The faux orchids I had forever along with the thrifted silver cups and the hurricane vases. The lamps was a great goodwill find. They are real crystal lamps that I scored for $14 for the pair. Here's the before of how they looked. Yes, I know, but I saw the potential they have because real crystal lamps will cost you a fortune. And being that they were so old, I couldn't bring back the brass finish, so I painted the tarnished parts a high gloss white. And on the other nightstand, I just repurposed what I had already. My DIY Chanel tray was used to be here. I removed the tray and added this mirror tray to balance the other side table. Then I added a mirror box so the lamps can be at the same height. This standing wall mirror used to be on the other side of the wall. I just placed it on the opposite side of the wall so it can reflect the light. Opposite the bed is the closet where guests can really make themselves at home and I have a full tour of this closet and that link will be down below. On the closet doors I added these drawer pulls. You get six in a pack for $7.99 and they are from TJ Maxx. I replaced the old pulls and added new ones to the doors. This bedroom has full accommodations. Guests can also enjoy this 50 inch TV while they're in bed. The Hubster added this full motion TV wall mount. It retracts, it tilts and swivels for easy viewing from any angle. Fur bench I got from Raw Stores and it's here so guests can put their shoes on. And I also love that the legs are gold because you can mix metals. It really ties in nicely with the brass that's on the lamp. Under the TV, I created a little sitting area that has always been there. I added a few items to make things a little cozy, like this fur pillow I had already, and this beautiful throw I got as a Christmas gift from Kimberly Davis at Diva Designing on a Dime. Thanks again, Kimberly. I absolutely love it. The new addition to this area is this floor lamp I got from the flea market for $5. And I also got the bar cart for $5, and I will do a video on how I styled it in another video. I gave the lamp a thorough cleaning and I used chalk paint to paint it because you don't have to sand it. Yippee! <laughs> I added a new lampshade and it's the perfect light for reading. So I hope you all have enjoyed my updated modern version guest bedroom and be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Be My Guest with Denise where I share daily and I want to thank you all for watching.